Hi everyone, my name is Greg. I'm a lead keeper here at A Bird's World at the Franklin Park Zoo. Today, I wanted to introduce you to some of my friends here. This is Cosmo, and this is Molly. And as you probably have guessed, they are actually toucans. They're called Green Arasari. It's basically just a little toucan. So they are sexually dimorphic, meaning that the males and the females do look different. So the males, as you see, have this black head, and females have the kind of rusty brown head. Let's so see if you can get a little closer look at them here. So a lot of people ask why green arsari and toucans have such large beaks. And for a long time, people thought it was to help them pick fruit from trees. You know, it kind of makes sense they can get to branches that are too skinny to hold them to grab those fruit, that's the main part of their diet. Uh, but researchers recently have discovered that really that large beak serves as a radiator and it helps them cool their bodies down. Where these guys live in, in tropical South America, around like Venezuela and Brazil. And they have to get rid of heat somehow and they can't sweat like we can. But what they can do is they can control how much blood flows through their beaks. And kind of like an elephant's ear, they can use that to then get rid of heat. And if they're feeling cold, they can have less blood flow through their beak, and then they can kind of conserve their body heat that way. So when they used an infrared camera on a sleeping toucan, they saw that the beak would change temperature as the air temperature changed. Well, thanks for joining us. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Cosmo and Molly. And hopefully uh, we'll see you soon at the zoo. Bye!